hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i'm explaining how to install windows server 2012 or later in a vmware or physical environment if it's a vm you need to create a virtual machine uh, with properties at least 4 gb or 6 gb ram and mount the disk and create a hard disk at least 40 or 60 gb and after that you can run that one but if it's a physical computer, you can directly insert a bootable USB with the Windows ISO file. Or if it's supporting Windows DVD also, you can use that one in the physical server. So after that, you just boot the computer. So you'll get a window like this. Choose the language. If it's US, choose the language as US. Click on install now. and it will take you to the setup window showing setup is starting so here you have a couple of options to choose the server version which server version you need so i'm gonna go with the standard version with the gui for graphical user interface you can also have a standard server core installation and also if you have the license you can have a data center version which is advanced anyway click on next and you have to accept the license terms click next and if you're upgrading an existing windows server you can go with the first option but if you are installing a fresh windows server machine choose with go with the second option and create a new disk virtual disk which is already there 40 gb which we have assigned we need to format it and make partitions for our primary windows um, disk now it will start copying windows files we have nothing to do in this case in this step we just need to wait for it to finish it may be much faster if you are running it on a physical server or even a VM with high resources because right now I'm doing it on a workstation and I have assigned a very low, very low memory and and uh, only two core CPU for this particular VM. So it's getting files for already installations installing features and then it will install the updates that's it and finish so we're going to wait for it to finish i'm making the video faster so that we can see the all the steps so initially it will copy the windows files and it will install all the required files install the features and updates after that it will reboot the computer or server so before that you can just make sure that you need to remove the bootable usb or dvd if it's in a virtual machine you just uh, you can just ignore this one because it will automatically disconnect the iso file after the restarting it will boot for initial configuration and it will show the getting device ready and it will reboot once more so once it's rebooted, you will be prompted to create a password for the default administrator account. So you're going to give a password and confirm the password again. And after that, you can just click on the finish. Just make sure you're giving a complex password. Sometimes the normal password, it will not be accepting. now it will finalize the settings and here you can see you can just log in with the password you have given that's it windows server is ready thank you for watching guys subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care and goodbye